Well, today we are talking about how to choose a power supply for your computer. Uh, essentially, whenever you are purchasing a power supply, um, it, it really the only the only factor to consider is how much juice do you need to power your components. Uh, this particular power supply is a 250 watt power supply that came from a pre-manufactured Dell machine. Now if you are manufacturing your own machine, then, uh, then you're going to want more juice than that. Um, but essentially, whenever, whenever choosing one, you need to factor in, um, number one, the type of video card you're using, um, or even if you're using multiple video cards, uh, uh, number two, the number of hard drives you're using. Uh, number three, what other components are you using a, a DVD drive, a couple DVD drives, are you using a floppy drive? Uh, how much memory do you have? Things like that. All, all, every internal component in a PC requires some, some amount of power. Um, so you typically want to make sure that you have enough power to go around to all the components. Um, this is especially true if you are a video gamer. If you're a video gamer, then, uh, then you, want, you definitely want something more than this. Uh, typically, when I, when I have to replace my power supply or get a new power supply for my machine, um, I will try to find something with at least 550 watts, uh, at least. Uh, and typically, if I were to add a second video card to my machine, I would want at least 650. Um, but if, if you're just a basic home user uh, and you just want a machine uh, to get on the internet or write email, then a 250 watt power supply should be more than enough for you. Uh, brand does not make as much difference as, as the actual wattage output of the device.